nice about the progress. It just seems like you get very comfortable each game, making big play after big play. Just knowing, knowing the game plan really, and just executing that practice over and over again. It's starting to get easier and easier for my first game. So I feel like that's how my confidence is going higher. Was there a game where you really kind of felt like Man, this is it, or was that even even happened before the first game in camp? Sometimes. I feel like the very first game, that's when it really hit, like, okay, yeah, this it's the real thing. Like, it's not it's not a game anymore. This isn't practice. So, yeah, I feel like the first game. Has it made, you know, y'all had a really good quarterback room. I mean, it's hard to have three guys, either talented or experienced. So just talk about the transition once they got hurt and where you are now. I mean, it... It's been pretty the same. It hasn't really been a drop off because, like you said, like all three of those guys can go. So, just it's just the ball being thrown my way. So, yeah, I don't think it's been a big difference. It's really been the same, really. Did you have an idea, like you know, the coaches talked about how the impact that you could make, and they thought you were having a big camp, but like you say, game and practice is different. Like, did you have an idea what it would take to get to the point you are now, or? Or did you kind of learn along the way? I kind of learned along the way, but I always knew it was going to be like hard work, like just working off time, like what you do outside of practice and stuff like that. So I knew it was going to be some work that had to be done, but really just learning throughout the way and w working extra hard. So that's really it. Uh, I feel like the last couple of games, more so than maybe the beginning of the year, uh, got like Charles has, has kind of come on. When you guys are, are getting that, that significant amount of playing time all all together, how much does that help you to have another young guy that's or a guy that's an experienced kind of start to see the same successes that you've been able to see? And how much does that help the overall group in terms of how you guys are executing and practicing? And things like that? I feel like it sits, it sits a high bar for everybody. Have you see Pete performing well, or Jake performing well, or even Charles performing well? It's like. You don't want to be that drop off. Nobody wants to be that drop off. So everybody's really just trying to match each other's energy throughout practice and even the game, like telling each other, like, oh, yeah, you made a play. I got to make a play next. And just us knowing, like, yeah, your time is coming soon. So I feel like that's just everybody matching each other's energy. Yeah, most definitely. What do you think you showed the coaches and your teammates in camp in August that told them that you were ready to be this player that you are? What do you think you showed? I mean, I, I feel like I showed them more of me by like just me maturing for sure. Like I, I think the last few years for me kind of been slow, but I showed them that I matured a lot and I can like take harder coaching or like even if they have like been in a, in the spring, if he wanted to change some, I mean the fall, if he wants to change something, like show him I'm able to adjust. So I feel like I just showed them I'm able to adjust and, and I showed them that I matured a lot over the last two years. What do you think that win against Texas State can do to y'all, for y'all after this body? <sighs> so that was a tough team. That was a good team. So I feel like that win, that really showed us like, we can get it done if we all just play our play our game, play tough, physical. We can, we can go a long way. I feel like we can run the table with me. <laughs> <laughs> the offense, where, where do you feel like the offense as a whole, obviously, Zion's now at you know, two or three starts for his career. Um, from an efficiency standpoint, you guys, I think initially there was a little bit of trouble finishing drives in the red zone. At least in the last game, that was something that you guys kind of cleaned up a little bit. So from an efficiency standpoint, how much better are you guys positioned, say, today versus three or four weeks ago? For like, like Coach Dez say every week, we better than the team we were last week. So I feel like we actually taking in his coaching and what we need to fix and actually going into the week like yeah we got to get this fixed like everybody's holding each other accountable like we for sure have to get some things fixed and i feel like we've been doing a good job at getting them changed do you feel like you're just like the number like the lead receiver or do y'all are y'all just like a group i feel like we're a group before anything like i feel like the receiving core is just real like real strong brotherhood like so i feel like we move as a pack like one lead and we all lead so it's just i feel like it's just a group like 
I don't think we even look at it like, okay, yeah, he's the one, he's the two. It's just whoever's out there, let's go. So that's how I feel like. What's the next level for you? What do you need to do to get even better by the end of the year and then go into next year? I say technique-wise, just I feel like you always can improve technique. It's always something you can learn. So, like, just formations and coverages, like just knowing it what's going to happen before it happens, just stuff like that, or just hand takes each. I had two drops last week, so I feel like just lock in more on my hands, but that's really it.